Morris, New York. Uh, I was just wondering if the surprise could be coming from Disney because uh, it seems to me they've been coasting up until very recently on the efforts of a, uh, uh, a person that's no longer with the company, Katzenberg, who is one of those rare geniuses like Spielberg that has his finger on the pulse of the American people and that uh, they don't come along every day, even in Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, it might be a very different company now that all of his efforts are, so to speak, out of the pipeline. Yeah. I, 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 have you finished or? Yes. Yeah. I, I uh, Katzenberg is a, is a real talent. I would say that, uh, that by far, I mean by far the most important person at Disney uh, in the last 12 years or whatever it's been, has been Michael Eisner. I mean, it, there's, it, 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 if you know him and what he has done in the business, uh, there, there's no one, Frank Wells did a terrific job in conjunction uh, with Eisner, but Eisner has been the Walt Disney in effect of, of, uh, of his tenure. He, uh, he's, he, uh, he knows the business. He loves the business. You know, he, he eats and lives and 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 and, and uh, breathes it. And uh, he has been, in my view, by far the most important factor in 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 Disney's success. Now they face competition. Uh, the the money is in you know the big money is in in the animated. Uh, films and everything that revolves around that because you go from films to, to parks to to character merchandising and back and I mean it, it's a circular sort of thing which feeds on itself uh, there's there's gonna be plenty of competition in that I mean they've uh, uh, you know you've seen what uh, MCA and Universal's going to do with in the parks in Florida and you've you, you know what DreamWorks is going to do uh, in animation and and uh, now you've got new technology and animation, you know, through Steve Jobs. And there, there's a lot of things going on in that field. So the question is, 10 years from now, what place in the mind, because it's a share of mind, it's not, you know, they call it share of market, but it starts with share of mind. And what place in the mind of billions of children around the world and their parents does Disney itself have and their characters uh, relative to that owned by other organizations and other characters. And it's a competitive world, so there will be people fighting for that. But I would rather start with Disney's hand than anyone uh, else's by some margin. And I would rather start with Michael Eisner running the place than with anyone else by some margin. So I, that, that does not mean that, uh, that it can't become a much more competitive business because uh, People look at the video releases of a Lion King and they and they salivate. At um, uh, you know, you sell 30 million copies of something at whatever it may be, 16 or 17 dollars, and you can figure out the manufacturing costs, and you know it gets your attention and it gets your competitors' attention. But going back, I if if I had to. If I thought the children of the world were going to want to be entertained 10 or 20 years from now, and I had my choice of betting on who is going to have a special place, if anyone has a special place in the minds of the, those kids and their parents, I think I would probably rather bet on Disney, and I would feel particularly good about betting on him if, if I had the guy who has done what Eisner has done over those years presiding in the future. Charlie? Well, I think it helps to do the simple arithmetic. Suppose you have a billion children of um, low middle income uh, 20 years from now, and suppose you could make $10 per year per child after taxes from your position. It gets into very large numbers. And, uh, <laughs> and I don't know about your children and grandchildren, but mine want to see Disney. <laughs> And they want to see it over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> they, 
They don't want to see Katzenberg. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I mean, in terms of the trade name. <laughs> it's a pretty good trade name. I mean, when you think about names around the world, it, it's interesting that, uh, uh, you know, there's very hard to beat the name Coca-Cola, but uh, uh, Disney's got a, it's a very, very big name. And Charlie's point that they want to see him over and over again, and um, it's kind of nice to, to be able to re recycle Snow White every <laughs> seven or eight years, you hit a different crowd. And uh, it's kind of like having an oil field, you know, where you pump out all the oil and sell it, and then it all seeps back in over <laughs> seven or eight years. <laughs> 